All right, here we go. OG Trey D, welcome what back. Do, what it do, DJ Vlad? We here again. We here again. Right. And usually I, I wait a little bit longer for you to come back. Right, right. But we had a tragedy that happened recently. Yeah. So I felt like it was important for you to come in. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, badass. Man, my loved one. That was little bro, man. Always going to be little bro. Yeah. It had a heart bigger than his body, man. 43 years old. Yeah. I interviewed him a, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Very nice guy. Very open. Uh, spoke about a lot of things. Yeah. You know, of course, uh, we spoke about how he did the song with Tupac, mm -hmm. Crazy, on the Machiavelli album. I think that's... Big joint. That's probably his biggest song. A lot of people know him for that song. By far. I... I was, um, it's still surreal. Like, I sometimes I, I still sit up and, you know, listen to Crazy on Machiavelli album with me and Pac, and I, you know, I just, like, wow, it's real. It happened. It doesn't, you know, it kind of doesn't seem like it, but. Yeah. That and Wrong Idea. I don't know, Wrong Idea wrong was idea. a very big song. Yeah. You know, it's still, it's still bang to this day. Right. Yeah. But, you know, Tupac is at a certain Tupac, level. Tupac, exactly. No, I, I get exactly what yeah. you're saying, but. I think, honestly, I think Wrong Idea got way more radio play than Crazy. Mm. That was originally his song, right? Yes, yes. Yep. Yes, that was for Badass's album. It became a, a Snoop song? No, what happened was, I believe Snoop wanted to give the song more exposure, so he put it on his album as well as it being on Badass album. I done that with uh on my last General's List 2 album. I took a song that uh Day One produced for Slip Capone's album mm. when Slip Capone passed, rest in peace, called Kryptonite, and I put it on my General's List 2 album just to let it get some more exposure and keep his name out and get it more familiarized. Gotcha. Great song as well. Gotcha. Well, you were the person that actually confirmed Mm -hmm. his passing because people started DM me and said, hey, Badass uh, died. So let me hit Trey D. Yeah. If anyone would know, it would probably be him. Mm -hmm. And you confirmed it. Right. And you actually told me that he died in Riverside Jail. Mm -hmm. So we ended up actually breaking that story, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Uh, we looked it up. But fortunately to let the world know, yeah. you know, because, you know, I, I watched the news all morning um, you know, for the last couple of days, they haven't made mention of badass on the local news. You know, so yeah, too bad. we know what he meant. We know what he meant to us, and they showing what he, how much a story he is. They'd rather talk about somebody finding a stray cat after <laughs> three weeks. You yeah. know what I mean? And, oh, here's Fluffy. You know, and right? Like we give a damn about Fluffy. Right. Fuck. Right. Fuck Fluffy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well. We looked it up. Someone actually sent us the paperwork, and he was locked up for domestic violence. Right. And he had a $10,000 bail, which I guess he didn't pay, or he couldn't pay. Mm-hmm. And he ended up passing in the actual jail cell? Yeah. Unresponsive. They found him unresponsive in the morning. Um, my guy, Gerald Stymie, he, he sent the information from, um, from, the, from the coroner, actually, and... The report says they found him unresponsive in the morning and they tried to resuscitate him and, it, you know, it wasn't happening, you know. Was he in the cell with somebody? No, he was in the cell by himself. Really? Yeah. No bruises, no foul play. According to them, you know, we haven't actually seen the breakdown from the, the you know, the coroner's report where... They did the autopsy. I don't even think they're doing that. I think his mom's going to cremate him or something like that. Oh, they're not going to do an, an autopsy? I don't know. Do they do the, do they, well, they do that before they release the body, right? Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I don't think they've done it yet. And, you know, in jail, you could be complaining about something, especially in the county jail. Oh, you know, I, I'm having trouble breathing. And they'll be like, okay, well, the next shift coming on in 30 minutes. Tell them. You know, and they don't give a fuck about you. So oh, yeah. It could have been something like that where he realized that he was dealing with some complications and, and he just couldn't get no medical attention. 
So it's not like he hanged himself or no. cut his wrists or, or no. nothing else like that. Bad, badass would be the last person to, to harm himself. Badass love badass too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's out. 